Yes, Shubo was uh, or, or participate in two places, uh, track A as the name of Dias Hugo and track D name of Tim Keist. Actually, at Keist we made this robot and uh, uh, we sent hardware to the Brazil University and the teams and they modified all the software, even they have their own sort of frameworks and working arguments and everything and their own independent head. So two robots are named same but it's completely different works, different modes. Anyhow, um, we in my lab we studied uh, our uh, Hubo series from year 2002 and last uh, in year 2009 we had uh, Hubo, the Hubo 2 and those Hubos were in the United States in, in, as a problem of the U.S. projects, and when I hear that the, we have DS challenge, um, we have to modify Hubo to DS Hubo. So, uh, the, uh, so first, I'd like to I'd like to introduce Hubo to first briefly, and uh, Hubo to is just something like this one is not designed to do any physical work. It's like as do, do performing gestures and and. They're walking and some 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 hand gesture, but it's not strong enough to hold anything and do uh, such kind of big uh, things. But I tested his strength. Uh, I asked him to do some some push-up job, and he's strong enough to to do to do that job. But he's not strong enough to uh, the heavy stuff. And also, I tested uh, this kind of things with Hugo, and he can, I found that he can pick him up from the ground. This is good enough uh, the uh, working range with that and also uh, we have a pretty good hand and it, this hand is very light as you see that it weighs less than 400 grams but does have five uh, motors inside and um, it's very easy to control and uh, simply uh, pump off pump the uh, open and close command could do this kind of a very gentle job so it can Grab a different pattern, different size of weight, uh, the of, uh, objects, and uh, is strong enough to hold that. It weighs about seven kilograms, and do this kind of job also. So, and and it could hold this one like this way. So, and also I tested some other mobility and stability of cube itself, and it looks quite strong. So, I think that yeah, we can do our job from the Hugo. And also I tested the Hugo arm again. Like this way, I took Hugo arm and Hugo hand and asked him to do that. This arm it weighs only 3.5 kilograms, but it could do a very simple job very gently. And also I tried this one. It's pretty fast but it's not strong to hold very heavy things. So based upon, and also another good thing for Hugo is that uh, battery life. Um, Hugo weighs uh, 44 kilograms and with single battery charge, so it runs, uh, it, this display shows a uh, time lapse from the beginning of the single charge. A continuous walk, it walk 40 minutes and <clears throat> just continuous walk without any extra the charge the one hours and 20 minutes and um, yeah it's two hours I let him walk until it just fall down the two hours 30 minutes 59 seconds it fall down means that it could run quite a long time it's kind of a uh, strong point for our robots so uh, based upon that design we completely redesigned the robot for the dark power challenge purposes. So the Chris Hauser briefly explained that uh, we extend the leg length about 20 centimeters, we extend the arm length to more than 10 centimeters to reach, uh, reach further, and also we have kind of a transformable hand unit for quadruped walking and or some kind of point rotating for this part and the other part we have this three feet or four feet hand and and the vision head with the uh, with uh, lidar and stereo vision and also mono visions um, and 
etc., etc. And we tested, first of all, uh, this is a very interesting thing that um, this robot is bad drivable and based upon a very simple community talk method, it is bad drivable outside, externally. Uh, and also, we apply just a very simple, very low compliant on the, the right, right arm, as you see that, is very compliant. So we believe that this kind of function is very, very important for the multi contact problems. There are stair climbing and driving wheels. And this function is very important. So we tested this kind of thing first. We asked him to turn the handle, steer the wheel, and we, he, we take out, take from him, and still is rotating. It means that he's very compliant and still doing working his job. So, Internally, we modify amplifiers and all the, uh, the control algorithms, and we make this kind of thing possible with new design. As you see, that is very impressive uh, when you see this kind of demonstration. And also, uh, for example, say uh, we tested this job. Uh, this is ladder climbing, and we climb up in that side because the, the knee may hit uh, the, the bar. The thing is that uh, there is no force of sensor here, no force of sensor here. Only this this leg pushes ground, and both arm is holding its position with some compliance and push in force. And so uh, that uh, the, the the video that I saw show you just before that can uh, skill make it possible to this kind of job. And, uh, <clears throat> and also, we try some kind of dynamic balance. So actually, Atlas did a similar thing, so we tried a similar thing. And uh, in, in the case of Atlas, it's 10 kilograms, 20 pounds. Our is uh, 5 kilograms, half of it, but his weight is almost uh, triple times so what is Hugo. It weighs, uh, this uh, DRC Hugo weighs only 55 kilograms, including batteries and, and visions and everything. And also, we try this kind of uh, dynamic walk. And, and also, uh, uh, we try quadrupede walking for rough terrain. So he, he, you saw that this hand rotate to replace to have this kind of small bar there. And it could transform from biped to quadrupede. But we did not try this one. The, 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 the quadrupede is quite, uh, quite different, and uh, the, uh, this arm is not strong enough to hold the whole body weight. So we try, 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 but at last we give up this, this one. But it's a pretty good idea. Uh, the, may, plus may, so at the first, we may use kind of stick pole for. Uh, the rough, rough terrain, but we tried, and, but uh, it is not quite successful at last. Uh, this one is new hand, uh, so we may we design our new hand. It weighs uh, just lit little less than one kilogram, and uh, it's rotating joint and <coughs> the single motor close and open the palm is nine hundred. Grams and go hold, go just like that way, and hold this one. It weighs about two kilos, it's 1.3 kilos. <coughs> and the next one is the five kilogram. They're so still very heavy. It holds like that way. And next one is seven kilograms. Barbell. And hold about 30 pounds of weight. And this tendon grip, actually tendon is strong but not strong enough to hold 20 kilos. So it breaks if it holds too strongly. And this index finger could trigger the, 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 the drill. And this arm itself holds a six kilograms weight, 
common uh, tentacles, so tentacles of it. And this one, uh, we use a small force successor mm -hmm. and try to fit uh, the holes uh, it just uh, it automatically. Uh, its algorithm is vibrates, very high speed, tempest vibration, and feels uh, that the, this force successor could detect the right direction to the center. So we try, it, it, it is successful out of, out of about 9 out of 10 or more. And this is a heavy unit. So we did not use uh, this, uh, this term vision as well. And, we didn't, and uh, there's more vision inside this camera. And we are going to change this, this design. The neck is rotated mm -hmm. like this way. But it's too weak, so it is fall down. It breaks so easily, and and this tether may hit uh, this net. Uh, so, the, in real trial, uh, this single uh, single uh, what, uh, uh, this tether is always uh, kind of kind of inter interference between the body. We use a true tether, but in in the field, there's only one tether, and it looks like this way. So easily break uh, the neck, so we are, uh, it is not a good idea to use that kind of big neck in, in view. And uh, this is a walking test for Octarian. Uh, this head watch down uh, this position, I say, look down like this way, and it detects the edge of the brick, and get the next step. And the climb up the stairs, he it, it did like this way. And his head rotate to loop the next position of holding and next and next and next, like this way. This is automatically done, it's all, all autonomous. And first, he check the position and approach and approach until the force sensor detects the arm and hold. And something they repeat him like that. And uh, this is drilling holes, uh, a, a breaking wall. And as you see that uh, two hands holes like this way, and full 60 centimeters, actually in, in our first experiment, 60 centimeters, full triangular cut is possible with these holes. Without, without moving his legs. In a single position, he could maneuver whole thing. His eyes just tracking, he's tracking the path all the way. Mm -hmm. Just the eyes moving like this way. It's all autonomous. And this is uh, this host connection. So he has a special tool to pluck the nuts. And after positioning, and he locks the knob. This is the re removing. And you see that all the mission we apply pole by motion. So once his arm is stretching, we give, say, 10 centimeters over, then 10, 10, 10 centimeters with the uh, hip move the other way. It compensates their length. And also, the weight is detected, then he shifts the weight. So that is uh, solid wood, not balsa wood. He could handle a full 15 centimeter solid wood like this one. So his eye is keeping on that object to measure the distance and the point to pick. And 
know it's a next, uh, there's this verb turning. And this one is also, first he checked the distance through the LiDAR, and palm approached the target, and force it detected, and then kick back, and grab, and turn. And also, verb is closed, from closed, then he feels the torque, and he kicks twice, and then stops. So he, you saw that kind of demonstration. And this uh, the, uh, the car driving. So he just rotated this way, lazy, lazy form. So uh, we practiced all the eight uh, tasks, and we thought that we should have very good points. And the reality is that. <laughs> We have many system problems on the site. First, day, for example, say, as you see that the liner is orange liner. This for indoors, we didn't know that. So in outside, we can see nothing <laughs> at first day. So and all no information coming in, and the camera was in daylight and all white, white out. So the first day, and uh, we had uh, some communication problems. We set it off the vision computer and main computer. So in the end, first trial, we took more, more than 40 minutes for setup. So the runtime left only 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 10 minutes. So we lost all the points in first day. So in first day, we got only two points. One, one I forgot. Very I don't know. And other one, one. And we expected more than 15 points. But first day, we got only two points. And next day, we got six points. So next day, it was OK. We fixed the problems. So we load the game and etc. etc. So we got six points, four points on leather, and one point driving, and one point for rough terrain. So we got eight points, and we, we were in eighth position uh, by the time. And the lessons, okay. So we should have much more robust robot system. So the, we believe that robot itself is okay, was okay. But we add visions and other things and very small cameras. We put in cameras and to the computer and in network problems, for example, say USB port was dead and the other ports are changed sometimes and killed the computer itself. So we experienced lots of, lots of problems and also a network problem. We take out LAN, LAN cable and plug again then the computer dead type things. So we struggled a lot in, 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 in system stability problems. And also, we experienced sensor problems. We didn't have any big experience in dealing with these kind of things in outdoor. So, uh, so in, and good thing is that um, this light robot, 55 kilometers of robot, could do almost all the things. So next version, we are now designing very new version with the heavier, but much more stronger and much more robust. And uh, also, um, for example, say, if a horse took a long time, then the motor gets hit. So we have to find a way to remove uh, the heat very effectively, like I say, water cooling, maybe. <laughs> like it's another suggestion. And uh, you are going to utilize all uh, that kind of things. And also, uh, in our team KAIST, we had uh, five professors Gathered, but they are not the professional robotics. Just and, and we invite all the students from five different professors. They are all master, first year master students. So and I would like to share all the portion for the whole test. So all different group has their own algorithms, and every test they reload <laughs> their algorithm, and they set up from the first uh, their own robot. So it takes every test. It takes. 30 minutes for setting up. So we have to, uh, we don't, we are not supposed to do that. We have to make the robot complete and operator must be, be professionally trained for the whole test. And I think in, in coming finals, uh, so all the tests must be in series at one time. So I think that uh, we don't worry about that kind of things. Um, and also, um, the most important thing for this kind of event is that we, uh, I have to say and say again that system stability and practice and practice and practice. That's the objective. Any questions? <laughs> so I think your videos are really impressive.
I love the array of lab tests you guys do. It's fantastic. Um, is your balancing controller uh, and walk controller relying heavily on the foot force sensor? Um, yes. Yes, basically. Uh, um, uh, we are using inertia sensors, uh, but uh, it's very hard to utilize inertia signal directly because there are lots of noise and hard to interpret, actually, even though we do have very good one. So in next version, uh, we are developing a very new working algorithm to utilize foot sensor and also energy sensors. So we, we to, to cope with wind gust and other things on the ground. So we, yeah, we did lots of work after that. Great. Any other questions? Okay, thank you very much. Thank you again.